Hey kids, who's excited to start a brand new series today? I am. Our new series is called Blueprints and it's all about our emotions and how to deal with those in the way that God wants us to. I bet you've had a lot of emotions over the last few weeks. I know I have. And you know what? It's okay to feel those feelings, but we're going to learn how to deal with those today. So sit back, get comfy, and watch this video. Hey everyone, my name is Telly Toolbox, and I'm so glad you're here to be Builder Buddies with me today. We work hard to help all of our friends. Before we can get to work, we have to make sure we're dressed and ready. Everyone put on your hard hat and buckle on your tool belts. Now that you're dressed, everyone stand up to sing a song. Guess what? God loves you and he wants to be your friend. Guess what? God loves you and he wants to be, he wants to be your friend. You can sit back down. Builder Buddies, it seems that we have a problem on the job site today. Let's take a look. Oh no! It looks like Mac the dump truck's feelings may be getting out of control. Mac needs to stop and name what he's feeling. Builder Buddies, do you think Mac looks happy or sad? Sad! Mac does look sad. Now that Mac has stopped and named what he is feeling, it's time to look around and see what is making him feel that way. Builder Buddies, do you see anything that could be making Mac feel so sad and down in the dumps? I think I see it. Do you? It looks like Mac has a flat tire. And if he has a flat tire, then he can't help finish the work on the construction site. Now that we've helped Max stop to name his feelings and look around to see what is making him feel that way, it's time to listen. Builder Buddies, click on your listening ears and get ready to hear a story that's sure to help deal with any feeling that comes our way. Whenever you don't know what to do with your feelings, the best thing to listen to is a story from God's Word. Do my builder buddies know what God's Word is? The Bible! That's right! This true story from God's Word is about Jonah. Can you say Jonah? Jonah! God asked Jonah to go to a city called Nineveh 
and tell the people living there to stop doing bad things and start loving God and loving others. But Jonah didn't want to go to Nineveh. Jonah was so sad God had asked him to go to Nineveh that he ran away to find a ship that was sailing to a faraway city. Once he was on board, Jonah went to the bottom deck of the ship and went to sleep. Shortly after they sailed out to sea, a very bad storm started. The boat was being tossed this way and that way. Builders, let me see you rock back and forth like the ship in the storm. That's it. Well, all the men on the ship were scared that it would sink. But Jonah was still sound asleep. When the captain woke him up and he saw the bad storm, Jonah was very sad. Jonah told the captain that God had made the sea stormy because he was running away from something God had asked him to do. Jonah was sad about what he had done. So he told the captain to throw him overboard. They didn't want to do it, but as soon as the men on the ship tossed Jonah into the water, the storm stopped. Just then, a huge fish came out of the water and swallowed up Jonah. Don't be scared though. God loved Jonah and he sent the big fish to keep Jonah from drowning in the water. Jonah stayed in the fish for three days and three nights. While he was inside the fish, Jonah was still sad about not obeying God. So Jonah asked God to forgive him. After the third day, God told the big fish to spit Jonah out onto dry land. And the fish did just that. Jonah was so happy to be out of the belly of the fish. And he was also happy to go to Nineveh and do what God had asked him to do. When Jonah was sad, God loved him. When you're sad, God loves you too. Thanks for listening. Here's one of my special tools to help you remember what you heard from God's Word today. When you're feeling sad, God loves you. You can use me to turn your frown upside down as you remember that when I'm sad, God loves me. Builder Buddies, let me hear you say this after me. When I'm sad, when I'm sad, God, God, loves me, loves me. Mac the dump truck doesn't have to feel sad anymore because he knows that God loves him. God loves Mac so much that he gave him great friends to help fix that flat tire so Mac can get back to work. You see, Builder Buddies, when we stop, look, and listen, we will see that God is greater than our feelings and that He knows everything. Everyone stand up and let's sing a song about that now. I can't stop and think about what I feel. I can look for help and see if what I feel is real. I can listen to hear what God has got to say. Then I can move along and have a good day. God is greater, greater, greater than our feelings, and He knows, He knows everything. God is greater, greater, greater than our feelings, and He knows, He knows everything. God knows everything. I can't stop and think about what I feel. I can look for help and see if what I feel is real. I can listen to hear what God has got to say. Then I can move along and have a good day. God is greater, greater, greater than our feelings, and He knows, He knows everything. God is greater, greater, greater than our feelings, and He knows. He Everything, God knows everything. I can't stop and think about what I feel. I can look for help and see if what I feel is real. I can listen to hear what God has got to say. Then I can move along and have a good day. 
then I can move along and have a good day. You sounded great! Now it's your turn to help a friend like you. You did it! And the next time you're feeling sad, just remember that God loves you. I hope you'll come back next week, but until then, check out this project designed just for you and your family to work on at your home construction site. Have a handy dandy day!